Welcome back to another video. Hope you are having a great day. And today we are going to take a look at the new Hypercube from Yotta Master. It is an external storage solution for SSDs and VME. I've got two Sabrents, two terabytes each at this moment. A huge beast right over here. Some links on the YouTube cards. And it has a special feature, which is the capability to clone SSDs from one to another and it doesn't require to have just data we can have a full operating system working and we will be able to expand to a larger SSD now I did those tests and I will share with you in just a few moments you can also use it as an external storage with dual NVMEs for video editing on a Windows computer Mac OS computer Linux or even for storage in terms of games on consoles PS5 Xbox Android TV boxes whatever it is compatible with any device that reads data now if you are using windows 10 or windows 11 on your computer and you still haven't activated don't forget to check out keyspan where you can find budget official om keys at an affordable price and with the coupon code that you can see on screen and down below in the video description and it will be even cheaper so just in case link will be down below now let's take a look at the yotta master hypercube link down below as well and inside the package we will find the dc power brick with several adapters for the main regions of the world in my particular case I'm in Portugal so I'm using the EU version USB type A to USB type C cable a USB type C to type C cable quick user guides and two thermal paste for heat dissipation from the SSDs and we also have the main unit which is the NVMe cloner or duplicator now in terms of build quality it's just awesome it's a solid block of aluminium brushed aluminium in this particular case so great quality the first time that I did pick it up I thought okay so small but heavy heavy for the size that it has so no cheap plastics here just a awesome device in terms of design which is simple it has this cover and that's probably why it's called the hypercube and then it's all metal so really nice now here on the top we'll find indication leds for the progress of the clones we also have a led for the source and for the destination and a button to start the clone process there's also a usb 3.1 generation 2 connection up to 10 gigabit dc in and on and off button it only has one screw right over here which is the one that we remove to open and then we will have access to put in the ssds really easy we just need to put the ssd from 2230 to 2280 which is the most common and this size that we are using right over here we don't need screws because it has this rubber grommets right over here that we will use to secure the nvme ssds and basically this is the full operation which is really easy now i did two tests one of which was the clone and i did use this billing mini computer that we have seen here on the channel it has a 500 gigabyte storage inside nvme ssd and in this particular case my test was to expand from a 500 gigabytes to a 2 terabyte ssd like in a real life situation that we want to upgrade so i did remove the ssd that comes built in with the operating system I put it here on where it says source and then I put on the target a Sebrant 2 terabyte NVMe after that we just need to press the button for about five seconds or so and it starts the progress we will see the lights from 25 up to 100 percent and it was quite fast I didn't measure but this of course will depend on the size of the drive that we have and on the data that we have now the speeds are great 10 gigabits uh, over the two so it will be quite fast now to test out to see if everything went fine I did put the SSD the new Sabrent 2 terabytes and then I just boot it to see if everything was working and the first sign was that it booted okay inside Windows and the only thing that I watched was that the disk was only using about 500 gigs so the copy was exactly exactly a clone it cloned 500 gigabits to 500 gigabits although we had two terabytes but this is something really simple to resolve we just need to go to the disk management and then we need to expand the disk to use the entire disk so after a couple of minutes I had the two terabytes and that was it a successful operation and in this particular case if we want to do a clone from a smaller SSD to a larger SSD we will do it in no time whatsoever 
ever. Now, the second test that I did was to use it as a storage device, a dual SSD storage device in this particular case. I did connect it to my MacBook Pro using the USB Type-C to Type-C cable and it recognizes the disks individually, which is awesome. I can have data in one and on the other one. Now, I do have two Sabrons of 2 terabytes each, which achieves speeds up to 7000 megabytes per second, but we are limited to a USB 3.1 generation 2 connection, 10 gigabit or 1000 megabytes per second read and write on max. And those were more or less the speeds that we were getting. So really, really awesome experience with the Hypercube from Yota Master. Now, in conclusion, if you ask me, hey Robert, is it worth it? I would say that if it only had the clone function, I would say that would be great for those that have a daily basis of cloning and expanding devices, like a shop that has those kind of services to the clients and the client just wants to upgrade their machine, a laptop or a mini computer or any other computer. That would be great because it saves a lot of time. But in this particular case, it's even better because it has the storage capability. So I do not only recommend this to that kind of scenario, but for anyone that uses this as a storage device, but at the same time, when it needs to clone a device, it will be a really simple task, which is awesome as well. On my test, it did pass on terms of build quality. It's just awesome. Link down below. Hope that you enjoyed the video. And if you did, so don't forget that usual thumbs up right over there, which is really appreciated on this side of the screen. My name is Roberto George, and as always, I'll see you on the next one.